In 2002, the U.S. government enacted the U.S. EPA Tier 2 Locomotive Emission Standards that was due in effect around 2005. Locomotive builders EMD and GE were given three years to design and produce a safe and reliable six-axle diesel electric locomotive with their Tier 2 emissions regulator. EMD's design was the mighty SD70 Ace, of which CSX purchased 20 pre-production SD70 Aces. However, these units had the notorious Thundercab design which had a bad reputation of severe vibrations and crew and comfort. Having a bad taste in their mouth, these units were retired early in their careers and returned to EMD. However, GE's response was much more successful. GE once again took inspiration from the extremely successful AC44CW design and added new trucks, a new GEVO-12 engine, new digital computer systems, a new Graham White e-bell, new engine vents, a new modernized cab, and the most physical difference, a new, enlarged, and enhanced radiator section to meet the Tier 2 emission standards. The first locomotive, GE 2005, rolled out of the factory in May 2004, only two months before I was born. After testing, the locomotive was an instant hit, not only for North American railroads, but for railroads worldwide. Upon testing these units and seeing the results for themselves, CSX made a good decision, for once, to buy 300 first-generation units, numbered 700-999, and another batch of 300 ES44 ACs, number 3000 to 3299. However, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Since the first prototype, it was noted that the turbochargers had poor casting quality, causing them to violently shatter under load, causing significant damage. Railroads welded thick steel plates around the affected turbos and required that all personnel stay off the catwalk while under load. Nonetheless, upon delivery to CSX, crews noticed that the ES44 AC was a huge leap of crew comfort with one of them even noting that he had trouble staying awake due to the quietness and smooth ride of these units. In 2009, the ES44 AC were named one of the 10 locomotives that changed the face of railroading, something which hasn't happened since 1972. The CSX ES44 ACs continue their service on CSX to this day and show no signs of stopping. The CSX ES44AHs are powered by the legendary 4400 horsepower GE GEVO-12 engine with a 4 stroke cycle and a turbocharger. These units have a General Electric GMG196 main alternator and 6 GE V13 B2B AC traction motors. This along with 42 inch wheels and the 8320 gearing ratio allows the ES44 ACs to reach a maximum speed of 70 miles an hour. They can produce 183,000 pounds of starting tractive effort and can produce 166,000 pounds of continuous tractive effort. These units are 73 feet 2 inches long, 15 feet 5 inches tall, and are 10 feet 3 inches wide. These units weigh in at a pretty beefy 216 tons. These units are equipped with the Nathan K5HL 2nd and 3rd generation horns, Nathan K5LA, and one notable unit, DSX 969, with a hybrid version of the horn. Here are some examples. ES stands for the Evolution Series, 
44 stands for the 4,400 horsepower, A for the AC current traction, and H for the high tractive effort. Three of CSX's ES44 AHs, numbers CSX 911, CSX 3194, and CSX 3112, were repainted into a trio of commemorative spirit units for CSX employees. These units, respectively the spirit of our first responders, spirit of our law enforcement, and spirit of our armed forces were repainted into these colors in 2019 to honor CSX employees and their families who have served in these respective services. The CSX ES44 AHs are the poster boy of the company, and it's not hard to see why. With their efficiency, comfort, and striking appearance, these units have earned their keep in the history books and will continue to serve CSX for years to come. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. This one was inevitable, seeing as this is CSX's most used locomotive as of 2021. The next Engines of CSX video, I'm not too sure on when it will be completed, but the series is long overdue for an EMD locomotive. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there, real fans.